It sounds like there's almost a kind of a fear of history painting and that, you know... Well, I think there is. I see a similarity there, actually, with kind of the direction everybody's gone, in that when I look at 19th century painting, particularly, um, you know, Napoleon III from that era, and you start to see these big academic paintings, there's a similarity. And one of the similarities I see with the piece at Versailles we were discussing earlier is we live in a moment now where you have what you could call hedonistic capitalism. And it's almost an imperative with some of these new shiny pieces. It's like, you will stop thinking and have a good time and spend your money. That's it. That's why they love to put them in Versailles. It's like a statement of power. And if you create this world that's devoid of history, that all of the potential problems, all of the potential dark things aren't really out there, at least not in your world, you can project them onto the other, whether it's the barbarian at the gates, whoever it is, and you live in this clean, pristine world, those kind of things are upsetting. And I was thinking about that, and that basically transitions the artist from that old kind of strange priest role they took on at some point when Christianity sort of lost a lot of its uh, power. Mm -hmm. And it puts them into the role of an entertainer. And not just an entertainer, an entertainer serving a particular agenda, a particular political agenda that's very powerful in the world right now. And I was going, hmm, so what do we do with that? When was the last time that happened? And I went, aha, Napoleon III. That was a time where artists were entertainers. And to me, I'm not quite as hard on all those artists because I love walking around Paris. I love seeing the, um, well, butcher the French here, I'd say the Pont Alexander and the Petit Palais and all these buildings. They're glorious, they're magnificent. And so I do think there is room to do things, even though that's the new paradigm and it doesn't seem to be going away. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, I think they're really afraid of darkness. I think they're really afraid of reminders of what makes us human and our history and where we come from. Mm -hmm. And the things that will start to remind us, like, yes, we are particular people with particular failings and histories, and we're not just consuming machines. We're not just people that can be simplified into an algorithm and told to do whatever you want. So that's my take.